everyone. Hello out there. It's me. It's me, Abby. And I just wanted to say hi. We're gonna get started soon. Dan's currently putting a tuxedo on. And as everyone knows, it's like a seven piece tux. So it's gonna take a little bit of time. He's chit -chat chatting while he does it. He's a casual, fancy man. But he's getting there. I could tell. Gotta do the bow tie. Okay, there it goes over the head. He's not tying it himself. Looks like it's also kind of broken a little bit, but he's making it work. He's a trooper, a fancy trooper. He's a fancy man. I honestly can't tell if people can hear me or not. Um, by, okay, they can. Anyway. Ah, yes. Putting on the tuxedo. It's an important ritual for every spy. And Dan, as we all know, is a spy. Wow, he didn't button all the buttons on the top, which he kind of makes him look like a weird, like he's in like a barbershop choir. Something weird going on with that, but who am I to judge? Dan's a fancy man. I am not. So, you know, he can do what he pleases. He's checking himself in the reflection. You're looking good, Dan. Looking good. Yep. Get that bow tie straight. All right. He's taking the seat. You know what that means? We're going to fade it to black. Here we go. Fade to black. You're, you're about to say something fun. I was. Um... Going. Wow, you are really ripping up that desk that every desk. time you it's move. It's a moving arm thing. Yeah, there's a screw loose somewhere because holy Because that desk is just straight up yeah, moving when you do that. Popped out. Oh, the, it's the desk thing? Something is wrong. Oh, well, then I didn't do that. I mean, this, 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 desk, this desk is desk dying. This is at like a 45 degree angle at this point. Yeah, it makes me feel like I'm very heavy, but I'm not even touching it. This is usually Vinny's seat, so I don't oh. really touch this stuff. Well, oh, no, this thing, this thing's going to die. Lean, yeah. lean on the desk for a second. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that screw. Oh, has, that's, that screw has come out. That's not a wobble. That's uh, you should get a new desk. No, we're good. Man, I've been sitting here for like twenty minutes waiting for you guys. You guys I ready know. to do a thing? Sorry, I had to get dressed. Jeez, I yeah. Was, I was wearing a tuxedo <laughs> and had to put on, had to put on my other. You had shirt. to casual down. You can't yeah. one up the. Uh, what's the thing at a wedding? And if it's a lady's wedding, you can't wear a fancier dress than her. You can't wear a white dress. Oh, you're supposed to be wearing a white dress. Okay. But what also, you also shouldn't wear a wedding dress too. Like yeah. if you're wearing a nicer wear wedding like a dress than the gown. bride, that would be frowned upon. Yeah, probably. Yeah, would they kick you out of a wedding? It'd be pretty funny though. No, Next it would just be a thing that people would be dress. like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Like, yeah I want to wear it. I mean, yeah. it's a real power move. I'll say that. Yeah. I think I, I discovered halfway through the last episode of this that I had to wear my father-in-law's suit shirt and suit pants to a wedding a couple of weeks ago, mm. and I could not find mine for the life of me, and I don't really lose things Wait, typically. Wait, are you wearing pants? Uh, I mean, he's, he's wearing pants. I'm wearing pants. You're wearing uh, pants. He's wearing yeah. pants. Right. I like that big yeah. one. Uh, I'm wearing suit. I have brought suit pants here for this feature. Nice. I have, Whoa. yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, aye, aye, aye. yeah. Uh, my suit pants were here. My suit shirt was here, and uh, I spent a good part of a day looking everywhere for them. And uh, they were here. It's commitment to the to the bet. I only have one nice shirt and one nice pant. Pant. Pant leg. One more nice. Pant. Pants are always plural, right? Pants are always plural. Oh, pant leg is yeah. that can be singular. Two pant legs. Pants. But not like I'm going to put on my pant. Uh, you put on no. one, that would be one leg. No one does that. Well, everybody well, puts their pants that. on one pant at a time. All right. Yeah, checks out. How you doing, Abby? I'm good. You're so quiet. I'm, I'm so quiet. Though. Check. One, oh, two, oh, three, oh. four. Hi. I think you're okay now. Alex, okay. can I hear you? Yeah, you can if yeah, you want. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm good. I'm good to go whenever y'all are. Should we fade it to black? Let's do a show. Sure. Yeah. Get this party started? Yeah. yeah. All right. See you on the other side. This is still, hey, this is still, still the pre-show. Pre You're seeing it here. Uh, we had to reset some TriCaster stuff because uh, some of our streams have been getting audio hitching, and we just want to make sure the volume and stuff is okay. It honestly sounds oh, there's a delay, and it's really there's, there's, there's me up. a delay in the headphones Abby's wearing. Um, want to make sure the volume is okay. Everyone's for saying you. it's quiet. It sounds fine to me. Sounds fine to you. But I can crank it a little. You can put it up. Make sure it doesn't blow out. A little bit. Check one, two, three, four. One, it's two, three. It's about five decibels That's, up. Okay. It'll take a little bit for anybody to hear yep. this, but this is the point where the volume would be like five decibels uh -huh. louder. When I'm saying this. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we had like uh, after only would happen on long streams. We've had this problem before where like the TriCaster, I think, gets tired. Why is decibel always minus? Minus? Mm -hmm. It's not always minus. Whenever I edit a podcast, it's always like, how much negative zero do you want? Well, then you're lowering it down. 
No, but it's like the timeline shows zero, and then everything below it is oh, negative. It's, it's actually a little complicated. Though. Yeah, yeah, because it's there's dBFS and there's dBVU, so there's decibels for the full digital scale where zero is clipping, uh, and that's the maximum. And dBVU, which is the actual voltage, which would be you can go above zero uh, without necessarily clipping. You'd okay. Start maybe oversaturating it. But even like so with a receiver. You're probably DBVFS DB, uh, on that stuff. So what about like a receiver? When I turn the volume up, it yeah. gets closer to zero because it says like, you know, I'm usually like negative 20 a, decibels. It's your receiver. Re Every receiver I've ever used in my life says like, oh, negative 20 decibels, negative, like you never go all the way up to zero. Yeah. Well, that's probably digital then. Hmm. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. That's we sound idea. good. People seem to be happy. Yeah. I think yeah. so. So Your are receiver ready to go? shows you in decibels? Every receiver That's I've fancy. ever had does that. Oh, wow. I'm a fancy man. You are a fancy man. Oh, yeah, goddamn tuxedo. Yeah, wow. Mm. The decibels is just like a, it's a ratio thing. It's logarithmic. It's actually complicated. It's like by I know several of those powers words. Powers of threes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, the decibels people suck. Saying, people are saying it's so quiet. So quiet? What you can put the yelled? output gain up of the TriCaster and, and really blow them out. What? The output gain. The output, the output of the TriCaster you can raise up if you want to do that. No. Oh, sure. Um, from the from the TriCaster. Here, I'll, I'll show you. Y'all should talk. Dan, what's going on this weekend for you? Uh, oh, it's a big old wrestling weekend. If you want to talk about wrestling, welcome to Get in the Ring with Dan Riker and Alex Navarro. Let me oh, take I'm, this not, off I'm, not, I'm not prepared all for All right, so the men's rumble, I think we got uh, Seth going on. I think you do yeah. Seth Brock. Unless if they really want to make changes, I think they could really do a big swerve here. If Finn beats uh -huh. the Beast Brock Lesnar, you got a built-in storyline there because Seth Rollins, you'll remember, fought Finn Balor for the Universal title at SummerSlam a few years back. Finn held it for one day and then lost it. So you got that built-in story. Like, oh, Finn wants to be able to, like, win the universal title uh, against uh, Seth. Or no, Seth is going to go back for the title that Finn had first. Um, Seth has actually never had the universal title. Went from Finn to Kevin Owens to Goldberg to uh, to Brock and spent on Brock. Oh, he had the brief thing with Roman. Now it's back to Brock okay, after being vacated. Stop. And then, okay. This is when the audio would be about 10 decibels higher. So if you're hearing this at this point. I think people are saying it's better. Okay. It might partially be a bit to make Dan stop, but I think otherwise it's better. I mean, I think Becky's the obvious choice, but Charlotte could win so and I'm you find a way to make it a triple threat right by the time now. Mania See comes around. I think but you gotta have that match main event.